Hello everybody, I am Sammy15 the Dragon Tim here today and welcome to Pokemon TCG Online Competitive Standard Friday. We each and every single Friday. For the most part, we take a look at a competitive deck and we just go straight right into it and play against another competitive deck. And of course this is in the standard format. On Mondays we have a, another version of this in the uh and the expanded format. And today I am playing good old EV Best of Quinners. I like to call it Queen B. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Um, we're facing a Night Watch deck. And we do not seem to have a very good start. Uh, let's see. Get rid of those two. Um, for Shaman. Seems like this will be more of a battle of electrician. So, we're going to start to do that. Okay, um... Alright, let's do that. Can't attack my first turn, so my plan is to eventually take out the Joltek with that. That is the plan, anyway. Um, let's see, it looks like we're going to get rid Looks like uh, I'm going to get rid of another Fire here. And Alessandra here. This seems to be some kind of Night March deck, so let's go against Night March. Nothing really. Um, though I think getting rid of another fire here will, or another, a flare out here would not be a terrible idea. Um, I really don't want to get rid of a Jolteon here, to be honest, because, you know, Jolteon has free retreat, though I don't think the EV is going to survive. It, it, it's possible, but it's, I, I doubt it. Let's see. No, oh, what else do I want to get rid of here? I'll get rid of the Ace Trainer. The Eevee, and we'll get rid of another Eevee. Sounds like a plan. Do that. Throw a letter. Throw a letter. Um, how many DCE do we even have in the deck? Only two. It's okay. Um, let me get this out. I want to hold on to that. Um, hmm. Let's see. So sick of my hand. Alright, on the off chance, my point. I don't really want to get rid of the uh, Combi, but we do have another, uh, we do have Sacred Ash, so let's do that. I do have another 1-1. One, one. I prized the best uh, Unfortunately, Talonap has uh, rotated out of the format, so that sucks. And right now we'll just pass. I have no I have no problem with just holding on to this hand. Um, yeah. I think the plan is here is to... Sky return if next, if he continues to have a Joltik, my or she, since my opponent is a uh, female. And uh, my opponent's going to be using trainer mail. So I got off to a pretty darn, darn good start. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Pokemon in discard pile. It'll soon be nine, probably. And, um,. At this point, Vespaquin knocks out fairly pretty much everything in the format. Or, not in everything in the format, but everything in that deck. So, 90. Wait, hold on. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, plus the base is 100, also bends 120. Yeah, even if there, there is no uh, Mew in that deck, so it pretty much knocks out everything in the deck, unless there's like a secret Mew, like a Mew in there, or actually Mew shouldn't be in there because it's rotated out, so... Unless there's like some kind of weird EX in there, that's the only thing I can think of. Um, I could see my opponent maybe playing uh, Sizerzoa in the deck, but I doubt my opponent... But even my opponent does, well, Duster Quinn automatically just takes care of that. Um, the one thing I'm thinking of is my opponent may be playing, uh, they, 
not vape, not vaporeon, but uh, employon, which is very much so a possibility. All right. Let's see. The downside here is my opponent will probably, uh, hmm, not get whatever I pro promote at that at this point. I think I just want to hold on to this for now, I guess. What do I want to? Nah, I'll just do it. Just discard it. All right, we do have another line, which is great. Um. Yeah, I think I just want a sky return here. Take a knockout. And promote a B. Alright. Not only do I conserve uh, double colos energy here, I also, um, you know, is getting rid of a shaman in play. Which is always important. At this point, I don't I thin out my deck enough so to the point where I don't really think I'll need anything too major. My opponent it is not getting as lucky. It's possible my opponent is playing Archeops in here. Luckily, I did already evolve a bunch of things. Apparently, my opponent's playing Halucha. That's actually very interesting. That is interesting. Um, though my opponent seems to be in a bad position. Well, I don't think it's my point so much as the bad position, so much as I'm in a very good position. Look how thin my deck is compared to how thin her deck is. Um, my opponent is using Dimension Valley, but even my opponent does play Archeops, which at this point I don't think she does. Actually, wait, no, what am I thinking? I've been playing Expanded way too much. No, this is definitely uh, not Archeops, because that's Expanded only. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> and I've been pretty much playing Expanded exclusively now. <laughs> trying to test for regionals, uh, so sorry about that. I think my opponent will be able to knock me out here, or should, at the very least. Um, yeah, that's enough. 120. What do I want to get rid of here? Let's just dig out an unknown and play it. Um, let's put down an Eevee, you know, just in case we feel like doing something with that. You never know. We could do something with that thing. Um, I really don't feel like discarding anything else at this point. Everything I'm going to do in the discard is, is there. So... Yeah, I, I really don't want to get rid of my shaman just yet. So I think I'll just be revenge. Be satisfied with that. And I don't really want to sacred ash just yet either. I'm going to wait until I absolutely need another uh, queen bee. And my opponent's halucha is not doing anything against me. Unless my opponent feels like, uh, feels like by soldering up the shaman and doing some damage to this, but... At this point, my opponent very much so is in not a really good position, but this, my opponent can just sl slam down and Joltik and that Pump Kaboon and be fine. At the same time, though, um, I'm just doing really well. And the fact that I, my opponent has gotten rid of two double colors and I have yet to have a single double color just hit the discard. So my resources management skills <laughs> is very good right now. Um, yeah, my me resources are. I pretty much have everything I need right now. You know. If I do feel like I I need to play with a flare on, I can do so. I mean it's not like the vengeance one, but Heat Breath does knock out everything. It does knock out all the night markers, which is important to know. It does do that. So if I'm ever running low, I can actually do that. Point then that out. Um, I don't need flaring on both of them. 
So if this one does go down here, I feel like I am going to have to come out and start using Sacred Ash here. Which is fine. I am running a little low on that. So I might have to retreat here if my opponent is able to take, take a knockout. But my opponent looks like he's going to be using Joltik here. Which is interesting because now all of a sudden, you know, I can <laughs> get rid of bo both shamans. Not get rid of both shamans, but I can just make sure my shaman is not a target, which is nice. Alright, that goes down. So I'm going to knock this thing out with the shaman. And, um,. I'm going to Sacred Ash here. Yeah, let's see. This, 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 and a Flareon. Hmm. What do I want to discard here? I don't think I need another Battle Compressor. I could be wrong in saying that, but I don't think I need that. Alright. Uh, I'm going to get rid of my third fire energy, which might not have been the best of plays. Probably should have kept one. That's fine. Yeah, I definitely should have kept it. I probably could have gotten rid of the muscle band there and made it okay. Um, and my, I'm starting to run a little low. Which is concerning, but... Um, at this point, I think I will promote the uh, Flareon. Worst case scenario, I can't attack with it, so. Sky Return here. That's my opponent's third DCE gone. And I will promote the Flareon just because it's, you know, I can sack, I can sack it. That's the thought process behind that. I feel like I should have maybe Sacred Ash a little sooner, but, oh well. I don't think I should have got rid of the fire. I think I could have easily got rid of the muscle band there. Opponent does promote the Flareon. Three of my opponent's DCE are gone. My opponent could actually Lissandra here. The prize trade is even, but my opponent is struggling somewhat to keep up with me. At any point, I can let Lissandra for the game, but I'm kind of waiting on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm easily doing that. Oh, my opponent could end here. No, my opponent can't end. Maybe Lissandra. Teammates, if one does that again. Teammates is an option this deck, but I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't run it yet. I don't run that. I think. Yeah. No, I don't think I do. Oh, my opponent could use revive here or try to search out my opponent's. Could try to search out their their last DCE. So that's interesting. No, that is interesting. Yeah, I am running low on my uh. Vespa Quinn, but. <laughs> Ugh. And I think I'm out of stadiums as well. I only played two. I used to play three, but I feel like two was enough. My opponent is able to get a knockout here. Not be easy. I don't see my opponent getting a knockout here. Ooh. Yeah, I think I should have kept the fire and attached it to the Flareon. But oh well, we we'll live and learn. I don't really play this matchup too much. Um, I really don't want to sack the Flareon here. I want to get rid of the... I don't want to... I, I escape what was going to hand here. I doubt my opponent's going to send up the Night March with the energy on it. At this point, I think my opponent is effectively out of DCE. 
probably the last one is prized. It's possible, it's not, but escape rope. Opponent's probably going to want to promote the other Night Marcher, the other uh, Pumpkaboo. I could see my opponent trying to put up. Ooh, my opponent actually does do that. I'm actually thankful for my opponent doing that. And so I'm going to play it. Okay, uh, I only have eight cards left in the deck. I don't really want to discard. Um, I haven't drawn my other bump, my other thing yet, which is kind of kind of sucks. Um, what do I want to do here, even? Yeah, it's blacksmith. Oh, I forgot they're all. Huh. That was interesting. I forgot they're all uh that. That's that's cool. Um let's put the muscle band here for now, I guess. Try not to draw too much. Just wanna try to draw enough to survive. I'm just trying to get my bumblebee out now. Um uh, I don't want to get rid of the Lysandra, but I don't really want to get rid of DCE, but I feel like I kind of have to. Just so I can get my Bumblebee, not my Bumblebee, but my Combi up now. And let's be revenge for Knockout. Alright. Now we can Lysandra next turn, so that's interesting. Only two DC have hit the, hit the discarded pile for me. But my opponent has three DC in the discard for her. So, I think I've won this War of Electrician, though I feel like my opponent can, does have ways of winning here. Still. Um, hmm. Even though I, I, even though this whole entire time it looked like I had, I have the upper hand, and it looks like I will win, I'm just still kind of on edge, like because like there's a turn where I could just miss, and like my opponent could like pick up. My opponent has been keeping up with me par before, like step for step, but I went first. <laughs> I was, I was able to get my thing up step first, and that's kind of what's, kind of was doing it. It's possible my opponent can uh, miss here. I can see it happening, but. I don't know. Pwn did not play any supporter yet, I believe. I think my so I think my opponent could play supporter here. Teammates probably. Birch. My opponent hasn't played a uh what's that card called? A East Trainer. Probably only have his, has a one of or Maybe it's prize too, or maybe my opponent doesn't want to do it. If my opponent did Ace Trainer there, that would have been a good way for my opponent to win there. Unfortunately, my opponent can only play one supporter per turn, and at this point, I, if my opponent can knock me out here, which actually he can't, she, no, she can't, my bad, she attached a Fighting Engine, and it's from X and Y, the X and Y set. Um, no, I win here. I use the Sonder to GG. So, yeah. And just like that, I'm Sandra. Be Revenge, 150 GG. And that's kind of how the night matchup works. It's kind of an iffy matchup, but like I feel like my opponent does have a good strategy. Unfortunately, Hallelujah does not do anything against me. It's good against Nani X decks, true, trust me, but... Oh, I forgot I had <laughs> that daily challenge active. Oh wait, there's also this thing, too. That's funny. Um, I'm not going to look at my opponent's deck because you know, I, I want to share my opponent's deck with the world. I'm sorry, I'm that guy, but I, I want to respect my opponent, you know? Even if my opponent doesn't care, but... Yeah, that's a very interesting matchup. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I sure enjoyed the matchup. It's a it's a very interesting matchup, but I'm 715 the Dragons in here, and uh, if you're at all interested 
in this deck, in this list in particular, I will probably post this list somewhere tomorrow, uh, sometime tomorrow on my Twitter account. So follow me on Twitter to to uh, see all the the lists I use for all my decks and all the decks and just random stuff or when I may be uh, recording or when I may not be recording and just stuff like that. And um, Mondays and Fridays, the competitive decks. And if you're interested in those lists, like I said, go on Twitter which should be in the description below. And if you're interested to follow me on uh, Twitch, which I do do Twitch streams every every Saturday from uh, 9 p.m. Central to 11 p.m. Central. I will PTG, PTCGO tournaments. That's what I'm going to be doing. And uh, yeah, I've been jabber drawing. Keep you guys wait here, here way too long. I'm 715 The Dragon Team here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe, all that silly stuff. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. All that stuff. And hopefully I shall see you guys on next time.